What's up guys? Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to another video and today we're gonna be working on the 135 but we're also gonna be working on uh, Mo, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Mohammed. So uh, he came over, He something, like, I think he had a tire on the road, like a tire came out of nowhere yeah. and hit his bumper and uh, pretty much destroyed his fog light. I don't know if you guys can see that. What the? <laughs> he literally My ate that life. tire. <laughs> literally the worst luck ever. <laughs> That's crazy. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and replace that, the fog light and the grill. Should be quite easy, hopefully. Hopefully we don't have to remove the bumper. We're about to find out. Guys, Muhammad left. We are here with the 135. So actually, I'm gonna go ahead and go down to the 535 real quick and just take a look, quick little picture of the pins on that turn marker. As you guys saw in the last video, it wasn't working. So I'm gonna go ahead and send him those pictures. He's gonna go ahead and send me a new one, so that's super chill. So let's go ahead, pull that thing out, take pictures, and send it off to him so we're good to go on that. <laughs> Alright guys, now that we have that knocked out of the way, so I got two boxes there. I just popped over in the top box just to make sure that was from Burger Tuning, and it is. And uh, let's just say the stuff I have for this car, you guys aren't going to believe. Alright guys, I am super stoked for everything that's in this box, so uh, let's go ahead and crack this little sucker open. This is the 500 horsepower plus kit from Burger Tuning. And I actually ordered a few other little goodies and I actually partnered up with Burger Tuning to make this happen. So if you guys are excited for this build series, make sure to smash that like button and uh, let's show you guys what's inside. So first things first, uh, we have to represent Burger Tuning with the JB4. So since we're actually using an Android, guys, we are gonna be using this uh, this magnetic foam mount holder. So that's actually gonna be perfect since I actually need this for my new Android. So that's gonna help us actually run the maps and choose all of our settings while it's sitting on the car. And it says Burger Tuning, it says JB4 on the actual magnet itself. That's super sick. We have a full set of NGK spark plugs with the kit and everything. So we have everything we need, the, ga the gapping tool, everything we need to make sure this thing is running the power it needs without actually misfiring. So that is is perfect so we got our maintenance right here which is actually the only maintenance if you guys recall from the last video on this car Jonathan said he did all the maintenance on his end he did regular spark plugs like the cheap seven dollar ones ignition coils top cover and like a few other miscellaneous gaskets like the oil filter housing gasket we did the pretty much the major thing is like an engine mount and the uh, oil pan gasket we also replaced the coolant some coolant hoses so the last thing we really need to make sure we don't misfire is some NGK spark plug so we are set on that <laughs> Buddy, guys, we got a JB4 emblem. Oh my god, we're definitely gonna put that in the back of the 135. Probably after we get it wrapped, because we're gonna have to wrap this something sick and we'll throw on this JB4 emblem. I might actually paint it black, but uh, this is sick. I mean, guys, just take a look at it. I'm like super excited, guys. I'm like organizing things and I've been trying to show you guys things. I'm gonna do both of them at the same time because I'm just super stoked. Plus, I'm trying to get the thumbnail for you guys. Plus, I'm gonna take a picture and post on my Instagram. If you guys wanna be informed of what kind of videos I'm actually making the next day, make sure to check out my Instagram. I keep opening this thing up. It feels like Christmas. All right, guys, this is the charge pipe. Both we'll blow off out cut out this looks super nice it's actually painted so uh gloss too it's interesting i really like it i've never seen a charge by painting gloss black so that's it and like i said guys these are one of the most important things for every n54 owner and these are cowl filters so the big old cowl filter in the middle of the car say goodbye to them because this basically gets rid of all that junk on the top i'll throw in a picture right here it basically allows you to have easy access to your spark plug ignition coils and your engine bay and it looks super sick i mean just check that out burger tuny come on boys oh my god guys no way all right next thing is the fuel pump so check that out this is gonna help us run like e80 something fuel i'm pretty sure i am I, i'm literally uneducated when it comes to this stuff but i'm about to show you guys what this thing can do having a tune and pushing the most amount of power on bolt times is great but having a fuel pump allows you to run like a certain kind of a type of fuel i think it's like e85 or something like that and you guys can basically push insane power maybe even flames so that's pretty crazy so super excited for this fuel pump this is something i actually wasn't able to do on my first 335 because i was super scared i never even tuned the car either so that's awesome all right guys next thing is a bunch of little things from our oil filter housing i believe these actually all help with cooling a bunch of little guys which i'll actually be showing you guys a video on it pretty soon maybe even in this video so uh i'll show you guys all this right now laid out so yeah guys got a bunch of little things for the oil filter housing right there some bolts uh, i believe this is like it helps with cooling all that good stuff 
and uh, I'm not really too sure exactly what these are. This was a full kit that I decided to opt with from Burger Tuning. I'll show you guys a video on that and exactly what they do. This is also the oil filter housing. I actually got this for my 435 and it actually is so sick. So I decided to go with the blue one because I'm gonna basically try to make my NG Bay have like blue accents. I think it'd be super sick. So I went ahead and went with some blue things on the external. This goes on the inside so you guys aren't even gonna see it. But again, does help with cooling. We have so many more things guys. Hold up, hold up. All righty, so we got some plates right here. JB4 Burger Motorsports. This looks pretty badass. This has a bunch of little hoses and gaskets. I believe this is all for the charge pipe. So I'll go ahead and put it right into the charge pipe here. Yeah, this is all for the charge pipe. I remember installing one of these uh, Burger Motorsports charge pipes on my first 335. All right guys, I really wonder what these two boxes are. Let's go ahead and see what's in those. Oh my Lord. I cannot believe I forgot about the intake, boys. Burger tuning, intakes. Oh, we are we have only just begun. And let's not forget about the JB4. One with the JB4 with the wireless adapter so we can actually connect our Android wirelessly. This is super sick, guys. JB4, let's get it. I've never actually had this on any of my N54s. Like I told you guys, we're going all out. I'm actually gonna tune this car. All right, guys, this is our absolute last box. I really don't know what this could possibly be. Um, oh, oh my God. You have got to be kidding me, boys. This is a genuine blow-off valve from Tile, from Burger Tuning, guys. Oh my God, this is gonna be absolutely insane. I bought a cheap eBay one and they sounded so good. This one's a real one, so this can handle some insane power. I actually didn't know that came with the kit, but uh, let's send it, boys. All right, guys, I actually couldn't believe it actually came with this Tile blow-off valve, so I wanted to make sure, is it just for me or is it for you guys as well? and I checked it out for 1,500 bucks, the 500 horsepower kit from Burger Tuning, you get a tile blow-off valve. Guys, these blow-off valves, I'm pretty sure, run like $300 alone. You get the fuel pump, you get all the good stuff, tune, wireless adapter, which I thought, NGK spark plugs, intercooler, intakes, the whole shebang. I went and ordered a few more things, so that's why I have the cowl filters, a bunch of the little cooling things. But the rest of this stuff comes with the $1,500 kit. Now obviously the kit that I have, uh, this is not the $1,500 option, but this is what you guys get for $1,500. I believe I opted for this package, which is one with the upgraded fuel pump and the big intercooler. So I'll go ahead and show you guys that also. But guys, uh, even for the money, that's insane. All right guys, we got a lot of stuff over here, but I don't want to finish up just yet. We do have a big box right here. So let's go ahead and crack this sucker open. Opening up this intercooler, I'm already greeted with this beautiful BMS Burger Motors. You guys, check that out. Oh my God, so beautiful, so big. I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing out. Even comes, I guess, all the inlets, because this is a little bit bigger, so I think this might need to be rerouted. Um, but it comes with everything, which is super sick. So let me go ahead and just take this out to show you guys the scale of this intercooler about to throw on this 135. friend's car today and we touched the 535 but we didn't actually touch the 135 we're gonna be touching it tomorrow morning so uh it's gonna be in this video don't worry i'll see you guys tomorrow and this is the next day guys what's going on so we have the 135 really just chilling like a villain i did take it out earlier to get some food so uh yeah now i had to pop the hood open it's been about two hours it's been resting here as you guys can see probably back there i actually have two wraps that i ordered one for the f10 and one for the 135 yes i already went ahead and ordered it i looked through all the comments i was like you know what it revolves around this particular color. So I went ahead and just copped that color. And then as for the 135, I picked up a color I've been really wanting to do. So I went ahead and picked out this one for myself. You guys went ahead and picked the one out for the F10. Without further ado, um, let's actually start getting to some of the mods because I know we want to start installing some mods. Let's go ahead and just do it. So I have so many plans for this engine bay, guys, to make it look absolutely super aftermarket. But first things first, let's go ahead and get rid of some things, and that is the cowl filter. Let's go ahead and remove the cowl filter and replace those. I'm gonna throw you guys a full time lapse mode, but if you guys wanna see an in-depth video, I'm actually gonna have that on my second channel. So check out my channel down below, the hashtag CV where I'm gonna be having a lot more detailed videos on there. And on here, I'm just gonna go full time lapse mode. So we can just see this build come together. I'm super stoked for the amount of power this thing's about to push. But again, guys, if you guys want to see a detailed video it's gonna be linked down below yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get into those cow filters I know.
All right, guys, we just got everything off. All we have to do now is put in the two cow filters. So this is already looking a whole lot better. Uh, basically, as you can see, I can easily access the rear ignition coils and rear spark plugs. Super nice, because we're actually gonna be having to do the ignition coil, I mean, the spark plugs pretty soon. So that is super cool. We, e we can easily access it now. I'll show you guys what I mean. Let me just go ahead and throw on the cow filters real quick. All right, guys, now that we have the cowl filters both installed, look how easy it is to access. So basically, whenever you're, you're hearing some kind of misfire or whatever, take off the engine cover. Doesn't even It's not even held down by any bolts, and you can easily access or even hear the fuel injectors that are going bad. If there's like an ignition coil or a spark plug in cylinder five or six or even four, you'll be able to easily access it without having to remove all of this. And at the same time, if there's a fuel injector going bad, you can actually hear the hissing and everything without having to remove all of that. And if you're trying to mess with your intake, hatch cam, and all that stuff will be easy accessible. Plus, you just have a whole lot more room. This is overly sized for no reason. If you guys want a link to these, the link's gonna be down in the description. Again, from Burger Tuning. So, moving on with the rest of the Burger Tuning stuff. Next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is just remove uh, pretty much the eBay blow-up valve and the eBay charge pipe. It actually held up pretty good. I just don't know how it's gonna hold up with about five to 600 horsepower, maybe even 800 down the road. So I don't wanna have that in here. I might as well upgrade it with something I feel is a lot more reliable, which is Burger Tuning's blow up valve and Burger Tuning's charge pipe. This blow up valve and charge pipe completes with all the brackets and everything I will be giving away in this video. So if you guys want to enter to win that, like the JB4 and also like the M4 trim, all you guys have to do is check out the link down below. Cop anything, an air freshener, a jet tag, anything at all. Any order you guys place will get you one entry and it's only gonna be for today, like the other two giveaways. I'm basically, by the end of the day, I'm gonna check out everyone that orders something, and one of you guys, you guys are gonna get a package in the mail with this complete charge pipe and blow valve. I believe this is like $130 value from eBay from what I saw last night. So if you guys want that as a giveaway thing, not the best quality, it's definitely better than stock. Cop some merch down below and you'll possibly win this charge pipe. The winner will be announced on my Instagram as well. Let's go ahead and install the beast from Burger Tuning. So let's go ahead and uninstall this. To uninstall this, we're gonna have to uninstall the intake. Let's go ahead and take out the intake and then go ahead and uninstall that. All right, guys, so we just got the charge pipe out. Mission accomplished. So if you guys look at it over here, this is the eBay charge pipe. It actually is in pretty good shape. Nothing wrong with it, but at the same time, again, I don't think it'll handle a lot of power, especially this blow-off valve, just an eBay cheap one. But this does go for $120, so if you guys do want this, make sure to just cop some merch, and you guys can just easily win this. I don't even want to sell this, so the winner gets to just cop this. I know the charge pipe should be pretty good, but I just don't trust the blow-off valve, so if you guys want to upgrade your charge pipe and add a new blow-off valve, up to you guys. But you guys will be getting this whole thing complete. You'll be getting it also with the grommets. I'll try to get the full kit for you guys to send it out to the winner. But I'm gonna have to remove my mass airflow sensor because I have to move that off to my new charge pipe. All right, guys, now they have the charge pipe fully assembled. This looks so freaking good. Tile blow-off valve. We have the sensor, the gloss. This looks amazing. If you guys want to cop this, burger tuning down below. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in right now. If you guys want to watch a DIY on how to install this, make sure to check out that link down below. I have DIYs on all this on my second channel, guys. If you guys want to watch an actual DIY, so check it out down below. But without further ado, here's the before. guys and the next thing we're gonna go ahead and install is the burger tuning intakes these look so sick i went ahead and went with the reds they also have blue and white i think red is super sick so i went ahead and just went with that so now that we have the charge pipe fully installed i'll show you guys the sound of that paired up with the intakes let's go ahead and just install the intakes it should be super easy i mean you just pretty much attach this to this end this to this end and then this end to this, that's it, super easy. So we already had to remove the intake to get to the charge pipe, so, uh, oh man, we're just doing multiple mods at once, boys. We already got the cow filters, charge pipe, blow up out, and intakes installed in this video. Make sure to smash the like button if you guys are enjoying this video. Go ahead and throw those suckers in. All right, guys, check out this engine bay. All right, you know what? Another, we, this thing's another cinematic. Let's hit it, boys. Let's just go ahead 
ahead and go inside and see how this thing sounds. I'm pretty stoked to hear that. Without further ado, let's jump in the car and uh, give it a few reps. <laughs> a whoop flash or something basically the intakes paired up with the charge pipe and blow off valve makes this thing sound absolutely insane i'll go ahead and link down below all the stuff i went ahead and used in that engine today the cow filters to help you have for easy access the charge pipe to prevent it from cracking down the road while you're driving the blow off valve for fun and power and the intake for performance and fun you know fun is important you know all right guys all cleaned up check this out Oh my lord, I wish you can rock this instead of my plates, but uh, unfortunately that's illegal, but I'm gonna be keeping that for photo shoots because that's sick. I love how the plates are black too, it just matches so nicely. I can't wait for the JB4 emblem instead of the 135. This is gonna be such a sick build, guys. I did let the car warm up, guys, so uh, here we go. Oh my god, guys, this thing's flying. Whew. What? <laughs> How'd you feel performance difference? What? Guys, I, I, I'm not even over exaggerating. Like, oh my god, <laughs> this thing became automatically 20 times funner. Oh my god, that little whiplash sound that is different than the 435. It sounds good. Like, the 435 has like this huge blow off of that sound to it. This one sounds like a whiplash. Oh. Oh my god. I'm starting to like this more than the F10, boys. Ah, uh, quick little rip. <laughs> Guys, this thing is gonna have 500 horsepower real quick. All right, I gotta park on the side real quick. This is, this is, okay, hold up. Now, I know this video is technically sponsored. Burger Tuning is pretty much sending me out these products to test out on my N54. Guys, I'm not a bad person. I don't ever advertise something I don't believe in. This is insane for the money. 450 to 500 bucks for a blow-off valve charge pipe and intake is a steal of a deal. I appreciate the blow-off valve like, alone is like maybe like 100 to 200 bucks. You could always go on a cheaper eBay blow-off valve, but obviously for something like this for performance use, you do want the best blow-off valve possible. And the tile one is absolutely my favorite one to be honest. So yeah guys, this is sponsored by Burger Tuesday. Shout out to them for supporting the build. Oh, this car turned from a grainy car to a beast in literally five, four hours worth of work. All right, guys, new merch is dropping soon. So I just got this sick lanyard. Check out the logo for your boy, Natty, guys. Save a BMW. So I actually have a lot of merch coming in, brand new merch that's gonna be released on the channel pretty soon. It's probably gonna be in about a month. I got custom packaging, custom merch to make the experience really enjoyable. Because not only do I want you guys to support me, but I also want the unboxing, the whole experience, and just being part of the community to be something special. So I am investing into all that stuff for you guys. I'm gonna be keeping the prices the same, but I'm gonna be trying to get better merch better packaging and all that stuff meantime though if you guys want to cop the merch that i currently have that once they're sold out i'm not restocking on you guys will be entered to win this charge pipe again the winner will be chosen tonight so you guys will get the full complete charge pipe blow off valve literally the whole complete thing and these are brand new from the burger tuning kit so this is literally everything you need to install this charge pipe so you guys will get this all you have to do to enter is just cop some merch support your boy and you guys are entered to win this beautiful charge pipe i would definitely consider upgrading that blow off valve but it's a starter mod you know not as good as burger tuning as you guys heard but it's a starter mod without further ado guys i love y'all so much i'm gonna go ahead and work out get ready get, go ahead and edit this video i'm going to edit actually all those other videos for the second channel which is a bunch of DIYs. So if you guys wanna see a, a, like a really in-depth DIY of everything I installed, I actually recorded all that in the process for the second channel. That will also be linked down below. But without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. Big things coming soon. Without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.